we have a firm, we have a number of firm, um, but our CPA firm is um, managed by myself and my wife. We're both CPAs. In fact, it was interesting. Um, we met at the uh, we met at the Becker CPA review in 1998. <laughs> So we both became CPAs at the same time and we got married three years later and we are both running the firm here in West Palm Beach. So in about 2010, um, the president, Mr. Mellon's son of AICPA, kept saying to us that, you know, we are not serving our clients properly because the trend in accounting is going towards personal financial planning and so we started hearing that message from mr melanson back in 2010 and you know you initially hear a message and it doesn't register but in 2012 um we started getting solicitation from marketing firms that had a model of putting cpa firms with advisory firm so we we tried that in 2012 and 2013 and in 2013 we had a negative experience where one of our tax clients says you know she there was a product that we were introducing her to and she asked if it's the best thing for her and since we had just started in financial planning we didn't know so yeah you know i and I asked her, did you ask the advisor? She says, I didn't want to hear it from him. I want to hear it from you. And we were not comfortable. So we added financial planning in 2014. So we have a CPA firm. We have a financial practice. And we have an, ins an insurance firm. We have been using virtual assistance because up until when the pandemic started our office was 95 percent digital so the digital part of it was not unusual for us but we were pretty not predominantly using upwork we we saw that upwork was a leader in the space at that time or that's what we had compared them to guru.com and so we were using upwork and then some reason you guys integrity you found us sometime last year and we were introduced to you we were introduced to you and we started last fall the fall of 2020 and we started with one assistant we started with a accountant tax professional at integrity and now we are up to four we're up to four where we now have two accountants and we have two virtual assistants where one we are grooming to be our office manager virtually <laughs> you know so 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 far we are very pleased and since i mentioned upwork it would make sense for me to explain why why the transition why is it that we favor integrity over upwork in the sense that upwork we would have to be managing like for instance yes you go and you can look at a screen share and see what that assistant is doing but integrity you guys bring the personal touch the personal touch where we feel comfortable knowing that the assistant that's working with us is also being managed by someone there and our manager from day one has just been and you know i just have to give him the plug you know and you know i i, I don't know about all your managers but manish manish has just been super and so we have a comfort level we have a we have a comfort level in fact we have even interviewed where waiting for the beginning of the tax season in january we have two more staff member two two more lined up to hire so in january we will have we will have six 
we will now we will have six people from integrity so great 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 point as you were showing you you were showing a scale of different tasks and i was looking at it and a great smile came over my face in the sense that you highlighted three tasks one was email management calendar and follow-up and when i calculated the percentage you showed i think that i think the total was 70 percent so where we as entrepreneurs and business owners 70 percent of our time is tied up with email management calendar management and follow up with the team what we have been very pleased with so far in the sense that the two virtual assistants because we have two we have two tax and bookkeepers i would say i wouldn't even call them bookkeepers they're more qualified than than bookkeepers bookkeepers just enter numbers i i would have to call that they're accountants because they'll go in and they'll analyze a set of books and they take so much pressure off my wife in that sense where they give us the full the full analysis but let's move to the virtual assistant which we have recently and we're so pleased with it in the sense that the two main things that we have them doing right now email management not two three email management calendar management and follow-up and the follow-up is much more so and i'll use one example three weeks ago we had two workshops we had two social security and tax planning workshop and our two assistants were so instrumental in confirming the attendees of the workshop and then following up with the people who book appointments to come to the workshop and i mean that has taken such a load and let's talk about the email now as you know as accountants and business owners we are bombarded with emails where 60 70 percent of our emails are junk really they're junk somebody trying to sell us something and i can speak for myself and my wife the fact that we have someone going through and cleaning and cleaning up our emails and then identify action items and then the action items are submitted to us where we're, they're providing us a task i cannot tell you and maybe this statement that, that i'm gonna use sean i probably shouldn't have said it i shouldn't probably shouldn't say it but i already start talking but it's priceless it's priceless it's priceless and it's i may i may be setting ourselves up there telling you that it's priceless but it, yeah. it 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 really it really it really is and it has taken and we are going into the next tax season with such confidence knowing that 70 percent of our mundane stuff is being managed and they're not just being managed like managed by a robot they're managed by two people who are understanding our business and basically understanding us in the interview process we realized that you guys also train them how to do interviews <laughs> yeah. so so we thank you we thank you guys for that so that was that was impressive and it shows that the training the training has been uniform because a lot of times you know um when you use other services there was not uniformity what we are experiencing experiencing with integrity is the uniformity in the sense that you can tell that the people went 
through the same basic training. It's like if you think of the army or the 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 the, the armed forces here in the US where you know that everyone in the armed forces, everyone, I don't care who they are, they went through boot camp. And that was very impressive for us and it helped us with our confidence level. So Well, the non-accounting side, we have to dive in by faith because as it says, with a virtual, with, with the non-accounting side, they're not technical questions you can ask. You know, with the accounting side, there are technical questions where you can know the person's ability. But with the non-accounting, you go by faith and we went by the fact of the person's pers personality and the confidence that they display that they display and that's what um we made our decision and and we were fortunate that our decisions have been good but we didn't have a measuring stick where you can say well this person is better this way technically we went by them they did so well in the interview that it was a challenge for us to even choose the two we interviewed five and it was a challenge for us to choose two out of the five well for the non-accounting well we basically knew what we were looking for we knew what we we're looking for because jackie and i identified that the number one challenge for us was our email it, it wasn't even a question our email and managing our calendar those were the two number one challenge we had so we knew that we were looking for people who could do that and we know that the reality of email email can be boring email can be boring so that's why it was very critical for us to look at the attitude of the person the personality will this person take this knowing that it's a start to something bigger you know and that's why attitude was the number one thing we were looking at because in in the email reading an email and filing in a folder that's just filing we wanted more we wanted the person to be able to understand what's the business what is it that they're looking for what tasks are important what email and i believe the number one qualification there is a person's attitude because technolo technologically they are gonna have the tech not tech the tech skills but the attitude and that was the key thing we were looking for and we identified My, my advice to anyone, my advice to anyone who is looking is, is to dive in because you guys have made it easy in the sense that you have a lot of organizations or even a lot of stuff. If you even take marketing, most marketing company that you go and they're going to do some marketing for you because of their lack of confidence. They want you to make a six month commitment here's what the confidence integrity has what you guys have you have made an escape plan if someone needs to escape in that you're not handcuffing us you did not ask us for a 90 day commitment you did not ask us for a 60 day so someone can start knowing that hey i can give a 30 day commitment and i can back out of it I just believe that it's just a necessity for every business, every business. You guys have targeted accounting business, but I just believe it's a necessity. And the person who is not doing it, I just believe is just losing out a lot, just losing out. So I recommend everyone to at least give it 30 days. And you guys, what you have done we have been getting results. We started guess it, getting results before 30 days. So I'm encourage anyone who have not tried it to at least attempt it, attempt it. And I feel, I feel confident the fact that you have heard me, I've used integrity. I've gone four, we have two, we have two on the back burner nearer to the front. 
the only reason is because we're just waiting on january and you can know january is two weeks away so this we're going in with six so we recommend you guys we recommend it we recommend it for so any of my fellow practitioners where you're wondering please don't hesitate please don't hesitate